about to cook and okay y'all let me know if this has happened with any of y'all my mom has been making something my entire life right I have no idea what this dish is called no idea it's always kind of been like hey mama can you make this stuff with the meat cheese in the casserole dish and she's like yeah <laughs> that is so embarrassing but has it happened with anyone else like I have no idea what this is called so if y'all know drop it below in the comments but I really just don't know what it's called but I'm about to make it so come on let's go <laughs> I explain this dish is kind of like if you were to mix tacos and enchiladas together that's the best way I can describe it because you have to start it on the stove but you end it in the oven so just wait y'all y'all gonna see what I'm talking about but yeah I really don't know the name of this and that is insane So in November, I'm thinking about changing my diet, my workout plan and everything. So since it's the end of the month, I'm going to get my last little bit of guilty pleasures in there. And then I'm going to start all the way over. But yeah, I've been feeling this for a while, y'all. I, I don't think I've had this in, I don't know how long. It's been over a year. So...
All right, so now it's time to put this all together and throw it in the oven. So first of all, we're gonna get the chips. You can use any kind of tortilla chips. This is just the brand that I like. So get your chips, your two cheeses, and then we already have our, um, our sauce on the stove. So now we're just gonna do it like casserole style. We're gonna do three layers. So we're gonna put the chips on first, and then we're gonna put the sauce and then cheese. And then we're just gonna repeat that three times. I just finished washing all of my dishes. I feel like I am doing really good. Really, really good. Just need to keep it up. And after I finish drying all my dishes, I'm going to go ahead and move to the last step, which is put the rice on. I feel so much more productive when I don't just sit down while everything is cooking and watch TV and actually clean up. So that afterwards you can sit down and relax for real and I have to get back up and clean. So right towards the end of my meal of cooking, the propane ran out. So I'm trying to replace it. Oh goodness. I'm still waiting on the food. It should be done in about five minutes. But this meal didn't really take that long to cook. But it took long enough to where I'm not really hungry anymore. I'm still going to eat, of course. But you know what I'm saying? You know, sometimes you cook and it just take a little bit longer than you expected. And by the time you're done, you're like, yeah, I am not as hungry as I was at first. This was work. But it smells so good. I cannot wait to eat. Oh, and I have the doors open so there's a nice little breeze. It feels really good in here. Oh, I can't wait until I build a bed and I can just like lay down in bed and relax while something is cooking. But then again, sometimes I do fall asleep so that's not a good thing. I'm going to get a timer. When I build a bed, I'm going to make sure to get a timer. So if I ever put anything in there and I come over here just to sit down or lay down, I don't burn anything. So. Hmm.
Okay, now I can eat. <laughs> mm hmm. This is so good. I wish I can give y'all some. This is so good. Y'all know every single person I've ever made this for loved it. I mean, love, love, loved it. I don't know what it is. Something about these flavors together. And the rice just sets it off. Like, oh my gosh. I'm going to miss giving this up for a minute again. Oh my goodness. Hmm. I'm not even exaggerating. And uh, now that I think about it, this is my first time eating today. That's why it's so good. Well, no, it's good anyway, but it's extra good because I haven't eaten all day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I'm definitely going to place tonight, yeah. y'all so I just finished eating and I am stuffed like I'm ready to go to sleep <laughs> so I did put everything away and finish washing all of my dishes so I'm so proud of myself but I wanted to thank y'all if y'all made it to the end of this video again if y'all have ever like made a dish and you have no idea what it's called drop it below I need to come up with a name for this like I used to have a name for this and I can't think of what it was. I'm just going to call it like, I used to call it something like taco nacho. Something, I don't know, crunchy taco nacho, something like that. I'm going to come up with a name for it. But again, you guys, thank you so much if you made it to the end of this video. And I will see y'all in the next video. Bye, y'all.